Hi guys, welcome back to Crown Rose Homestead. It has been a while since we have done a video due to my mother having some health problems. So she was diagnosed with celiac disease in 2020, as you know. Um, but uh, recently she has also been diagnosed with lupus. So if you know what lupus is, it is very, very difficult to deal with sometimes and just hard to handle as far as the, the it draining your energy and just everything on top of it. So she's on a lot of medicines right now, so it causes her to not be fully able to do a lot. Um, so that's why we haven't done a video in a while. But the other day, we actually uh, dry canned potatoes. So we decided to do a video because we haven't done one in a while. So we are going back into the kitchen and we are going to dry can potatoes. Come on, let's go. For the first time in a couple of years, uh, the explanation is in the intro, uh, but we thought today would be a good time to do a video because we are dry canning potatoes today. So this video is going to be a how-to video on how to dry can potatoes. So we are going to get started by cutting our potatoes. We're going to dice them in uh, about, about that big. You know, you don't want them too small. Um, they have been washed, um, but we are good. They're the little potatoes. I don't, I don't know what they're called. I think, I think they're um, candy bags. Maybe candy bags. I'm not sure. But we are going to get these cut up, and uh, then we'll move on to the next step. We've got our potatoes cut, um, some of them anyways. We got another half a box to do. It's like filled up our sink over here. Um, but now we ran out of room, so we are going to go ahead and start packing the jars. Now, when you're dry canning, you want to make sure that you are packing the jars. Otherwise, you're not gonna get as much potatoes as you want. And you can come, and up. You can come up all the way to the rim here or a little bit further like my mom just said she needed to add a little more so after you get the jars packed we are going to start adding our ingredients now to start off I am learning while I'm doing this mom has done this before she just doesn't want to be in front of the camera oh so that leaves me all right mom so what do I do next you put a teaspoon of, we use pink salt now. Teaspoon of pink salt. Pink Himalayan salt. Himalayan pink salt. It's better for you. But if you don't a have, teaspoon. if you don't have pink Himalayan salt, you can use table salt. And then what else? A tablespoon of butter. On top. Our handy dandy stick of butter. One tablespoon. And with dry canning meat or anything, you need to put a little get a little bowl of vinegar, a paper towel, dip the paper towel in it just enough to wipe the rim off to make sure there's nothing. 
Waving the ring. Make sure there's nothing on it to keep it from sealing. And you can use any season you want. You can add to it. Uh, you don't have to use just salt. Uh, we put a seasoning blend in the last batch we did. So any seasons you want to add to dry can, you can. So I could put steak seasoning in it? Yes, you can. Okay. Dry, dry canning helps to where you can fry the potatoes, roast the potatoes. You have more of an option than just regular canning. So I can twice bake them? Pretty much, yeah. But you can also fill it up fuller because you have no liquid in it to overflow. Some people will put like a cup of water in it or whatever, but you don't have to. You will see why at the end. Okay. All right. We are going to get off here and we are going to oh, put your lid and ring on. Put the lid and ring on and continue filling jars. Okay. Be right back. She's changed her mind. She will be fine being in front of the camera. Go ahead, Mama. Not really, but okay. So now we put our jars in a cold canner. There's three quarts of water. It's a pressure canner. It has to start off cold every time. Cold canner. So after... You get your potatoes done, you dump the water out to start with fresh cold water. Okay, so now we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna let them vent for 10 minutes. And then once, then it's gonna build pressure for another 10 minutes. And then we're going to can them for 45 minutes. 10 pounds. 10 for pounds. 10 pounds, 45 minutes. That's our altitude. So it's yes. Altitude. If you're at a different altitude, it will change. Just double check your canning books. Stuff like that. All right, let's get it going. Okay, first batch is out of the oven. Canner, sorry. We're going to keep that in there because that's kind of funny. So this is why you don't need any water in your jars. Look at all of that juice from the potatoes. And the butter. And the butter. And when we're going to put that over with our other jars. It's awesome. Cool. And yes, we do reuse our lids. You can always reuse lids as long as they're not damaged. All right. So we learned a lot about dry canning potatoes today, and I'm so excited to be able to try the uh, can. I hope that it worked out just as good as it did for us to you. Um, and I'm excited to be able to start more videos. I'm practicing a whole bunch of new stuff. I'm actually starting uh, my own business. So not only am I uh, videoing on here on YouTube, but I have actually started a podcast. So it is called This Faith Filled Homestead. And we talk about uh, just motherhood. And then you've got different things that we do around here on the farm and we just have a chat we have guests on every now and then so i'll put the link to that in the um description below but i also have started a storefront so if you are looking to get into more of the gluten-free baking or cooking uh, i have started a, a digital um marketing no not marketing a digital product site that you can go to and I am actually about to upload my first six-week course so this six-week course is gonna be about gluten-free 
baking. So it's going to give you all the details you need to know about baking the gluten-free way. Um, and I will put the link to that in the bio, or not bio, I don't know why I keep saying that, the description. But I also have where you can uh, get a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So if you personally have any questions about gluten-free baking or canning or just anything that has to do on the homestead, feel free to go to that site, click set up a session with me, and me and you will talk it out and figure out what's going on together. I hope to see you guys on the next episode of Crown Rose Homestead.